Hello, oh, this is Star477 here. I'm doing a playthrough of Pokemon Silver version for the girl Game Boy Color. Now, oh, I'm with, I'm wait and do Soul Silver, but well, this is more of an introduction for, or maybe you know, just a look back into the past of, you know, and well, whatever. Set the time here, and I'm basically setting it to the exact time that it is right now as I'm doing this walkthrough. It's pretty well, enough about that. And, uh, you see a Meryl there, and basically the explanation of the whole Pokemon thing. Well, some of it, you know. Oh, uh, they don't. What he doesn't explain is the crappy show. No offense to those who like it. Now, out of boredom, I'm gonna set my name to Silver here. Because I have nothing better to do. And besides, well. I don't want to put my actual real name, because I don't want to ruin it, because, <laughs> well, you'll find out eventually what it is. So head downstairs, and your mother will walk up and start talking to you about Professor Elm, the old pedophile across the street. And you get your polka gear back from the repair shop. Huh, how convenient that you get it back as soon as you start the game. Yes, and it happens to be Sunday, and I think it's on daylight like, savings time. Oh, well, whatever. And, well, she'll say more in, like, daylight savings time and how to use a phone. Shouldn't be that hard. I mean... You probably all have. Now head out of the house and go in here and... Oh, see that little red-headed guy? That is your rival. Huh. He's out to get you and he's staring into the window because he's an even bigger pedophile than Professor Elm. Well... Uh, he may not... Uh, he may actually not be a pedophile, but still he's... Sort of sounds like it. I mean, he wants to come see you. Well, he uh, wants to give you a Pokemon because he needs someone to do his dirty work for him because he's too lazy to get up off his well. I'm going to leave whatever, well, creativity to you. I pick Totodile because Totodile is cool. <laughs> and I'm going to, well, Name it something. Hmm. I think I have a name for it. Now, it may not actually fit, but... Oh, well, I'm naming it Xylo. Oh, one of the best characters in Shining Force 1. Well, next to Domingo, but this does not involve Shining Force whatsoever. I'm just giving it a nickname that I want to. So, showing that he's even and more of a pedophile than one thought, he gives you his phone number, and his little partner in crime gives you a potion. Who knows what's contained in it? I'd say liquor, but then again, I'm wrong quite a bit of the time. Walk out, and uh, here's what happens if you do talk to your rival or whatever. Or, uh, he'll get angry at you, and he will knock you back quite a bit because he's evil. You see, he's so mean, he decides to hit you hard. And now, well... A hoot hoot appears. How nice. Go Xylo, let's go beat some owls up. Cause it's fun. Mm. Well, after scratching it, they all decides to 
combat my Xylo by, well, hitting him. And Xylo gets experience because he beats up an owl. How nice. Hmm. One more owls appear. This one's a high level and Xylo's afraid of owls. Well, big owls. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed something. When Xylo, well, my Totodile, was actually a female. I wasn't paying attention when I made the nickname. Oh, bugger. So after that, I scratch the owl and it dies to a crit. Which is actually quite funny. And I level up. Not too good. After that level up from my female Xylo, I walk into the grass with little pixelated animations. And it seems that all that's appearing is Hoot Hoot. Oh no, it's the birds! <laughs> The birds! <laughs> well, after thinking of the Stephen King, the birds, even though, well, it almost seems like more of a CDI reference, the birds are singing! Isn't it wonderful? Beautiful, or some crap like that. Well, the owl growls and it fails because, well, back then it wasn't actually too good. So I gain experience and more grass. After which you see a fat guy staring into the open abyss. Turns out that he's saving the game. Wow, breaking the fourth wall. There's a lot of things that do that. That, you know, po well, Pokemon cosplay, for example. And Leaf Green, or may have kept it more well, the actual red, fire red, you know, all that jazz. And I see a rat, and Xylo wants to come eat it, but unfortunately, doesn't have bite yet, so can't take a big old chunk out of it. So I have to scratch and then lick its uh, claws. More rats. Oh no, it's a it's a female version of the little rat from Ratatouille. This is just awful. So this little rat can actually put up a little bit of a fight, but eventually dies to my claws of power. Yes, and I learn rage, and it's a type of rage that, if I were to actually say it, well, someone would probably frame me for, or, um, quoting something from the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series, but, ah, what a nice show. It, it's quite funny. I'm not advertising a thing. Talk to this man here, and he will, well, he'll have a, oh, what, he'll have a little tour of everything, and uh, he knows where everything is, because, eh, well, that's just old men. And he says that the Mart sells balls, but what type of balls are they selling? Hmm, I'll leave that up to you to decide, but the answer, well, technically would be Pokeballs. Just, he never finishes it. Maybe this man's a pedophile as well. So after walking, he shows you his house, which uh, seems sort of creepy. <laughs> and he gives you something. The map card. That'll be, that may be useful later, you know, for locating <laughs> Raikou and Tame Suicune much later on. But for now, let's head into the mart and buy some potions. 
Ah, uh, yes. I'll take five potions, please. No, I don't want any more. Well, for now, this is Star Force 777 telling you to keep on playing Pokemon and watch that show right now. Not the Pokemon show. The other one I mentioned about a minute or so ago. Do it now.